Dude, are you guys ready for the tournament season? <laughs> two tournament seasons uh, two different organizations so it's gonna be oh man you know can't wait <laughs> you know but the two organizations gonna be three tournaments each and three tournaments each and I'm gonna be filming all of them last year I didn't even get to film anything cuz I wasn't prepared I didn't have enough film enough uh, you know battery now I got everything ready. Just trying to get that footage, you know? Trying to get those fish, trying to get those tips out to you guys. And I get the tip rules! And I'm gonna be praying out there, and if you guys pray, pray for me, you know? And if you guys do tournaments, I'll pray for you guys too. Oh, random people. Oh. Wait, there's one now. <laughs> get ready, guys. You know, if you guys don't do tournaments and you guys like being competitive and you guys don't like to be in a team, and you go out there and you got to figure it out. You have to, you know, put a tactic out there. You have to either use, you know, spin reel, finesse, long shots, you know, with the bait casters. You know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? There's a bunch of ways you can do it. Dude, fishing is so badass, man. There's different baits, different baits, different situations, different weather, different colors you can use, different different techniques, you know? Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful places you get to go to. How beautiful, huh? Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful. Oh yeah, it's very beautiful. You know, in fishing, there's top waters, there's mid waters, there's bottom feeders. You know, man, there's different things you can do. You know, different knots. Dude, different knots? Different knots? What in the hell, Bubba? Dude, usually when, when I go through tournaments, and after I'm done with the tournaments and everything, Dude, I go around the little local areas and I go and fish it up, dude. Get footage. Fishing it up. Dude, it's awesome, man. You know, you're all going off that. Dude, these events are freaking exciting, man. Freaking exciting, dude. Like, dude, you go in there, you're all fishing it up. Man, there's different weapons you can use. Different, different swords, different... And that's all. <laughs> Rods and reels. <laughs> you know? What are you gonna use? A freaking bait caster, a spin reel, bowl? <laughs> How many are you gonna use? <laughs> what will you use? What will you use then? Huh? Would you use the, the bait caster? Huh? <laughs> you want the bait caster? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna something about my setup here. You know, pretty much finesse. All of these, both of these, finesse all around. This would be like, you know, the meat stick, you know, F flipping, maybe uh, doing long casts, you know, because it's a big rod. This one would be a uh, flipping and long casts, swim baits. You could do crankbaits because of the high-speed reel. 
crank baits you can do jerk baits man this could be a freaking so you don't get tired I might put this reel onto the small one on the six foot six medium heavy with this reel and just so I could uh, work the, the jerk bait you know and not get tired that's the only time I'll switch these reels and I'll use this reel with this with the small reel so I don't get tired when I do jerk baits this is of course an all-around reel and and pull right here you know but I wouldn't use it for flipping you know that's probably the only thing I probably wouldn't use it for oh and this one's a long cast too I could do long cast with this one really long cast and this one is uh just for like skipping and short contact I can be really accurate with this one of course docks out deep uh, you can pretty much fish a lot of stuff with this stuff but that's what I would have fish it with the worm drop shot you know this would probably be my creature bait or something like that yeah but those are that's gonna be my setup that I'm gonna take I'm gonna have a <clears throat> one of these two reels set up with some extra line and of course I'm gonna take my my little oil little oil here that we got and take it and my tackle and everything I can't show you guys that you know of course I'm gonna have a few other videos out it's gonna be about weather weather situations you know saving money gas different situations so it's gonna happen when you're gonna be behind the boat with the angler now this year I want to be staying in my car so I'm also going to teach you what you're going to need what you're going to uh, want to take you know because if you don't take these stuff you won't be comfortable and it will suck I'm also going to teach you guys how to be comfortable out there in the lake when you guys are staying out there you know as long as they got showers you're good to go and you don't have to worry about no stench or rules dude it's gonna be a good experience. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I've been talking about. I'll also show you guys back road routes, you know? You don't wanna go through the city like me? I hate going through the city. Sometimes you have to, but there's back roads, man. You could get take, take them. Probably be like 30 minutes more, but hey, sweet, sweet driving, man. Sweet, chill driving, sweet scenery. I'll, give, I'll be giving you guys road advice, too. Where to go grub if you guys want. What to bring to eat? This gonna be so exciting, dude. I'm gonna be a road trip, staying in my car the whole time. Dude, I'm gonna show you guys the prices and everything, for staying in the lakes and everything. If you don't like fishing and you like filming, dude, they got marshals. They got marshals. You'll be filming the pros as they go. Dude, as they're catching these big old biggins. Yeah. Bend down, dude. Yeah. You'll be catching the whole action, man. Everything, every action that they've been doing, you'll be getting it. And you'll just be the filmer, man. You, you, you say what happened, the experience, you know? And that's if you don't like fishing, but be out there looking at, at different lakes, different states, different cities, different areas, man. You know, traveling, eating burritos. Dude, imagine. Just being out there, man. And you're over there, and you catch a fish, and you tell the angler, dude, fish on, or, or net, net, net. And it comes in, and the fish, and then the fish. And you net it, dude. He nets it, you get it in, dude. Five pounder, dude, five pounder. And you have a chance to freaking win the tournament, dude. I'm telling you, man. And then you put it in the live well? Yep. Nice one, right here. You're over there netting fish, catching fish, making the moolah, you know? But two organizations I'm doing, man. Not only one, but two organizations. I tell ya. Dude. 
You're like being mechanic and stuff. Come on, man. Take care of your reels. Fix them. Take them apart. Put them back. Clean them. Look at this reel, man. I had it. This reel cost me like about 50 bucks. And this already freaking lasts me for the whole time that I've been fishing. Maybe a year. Still sounds good. I'm taking care of it, cleaning it up. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. It's just, you know, if you don't like uh, fresh water, there's salt water ones too, man. Freaking get, go do some salt water fishing, yeah. You know, when I went, I didn't even go with practice either, you know. I learned as I went. That's badass. Dude, if you guys think you guys got what it takes, get on out there, man. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to stay out there in my car and everything, dude. It's gonna be a badass. I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of tips too. You know, man, just being out there, just experience, just seeing other lakes. stuff man you know how to travel the depths weathers dude there's a bunch of variations of this fishing man that's why I love it dude I love it dude that's my goal that's the, you have to save yourself with goals man you gotta save yourself with goals dude if you don't got no goals dude you're, you're just gonna be like what am I doing you know I already set my goal for last year to learn to go and do it and learn this year and just come and try doing it hard this year you know and hopefully everything comes out good man because you never know you know you gotta just set that goal and then if you fail and don't be afraid of failing you know it's not a big deal to fail but once you win you know that feeling oh man dude it's a great feeling you're just like oh now that me Dude, you know, just get yourself a few rods. Dude, it was more badass than getting a bunch of rods and reels, lures, and just going fishing. Learning different techniques, how to catch fish. That's badass. <laughs> you won't know how badass it is until you freaking try it yourself. <laughs> Some of the tournaments, if you have kids, Dude, some of the tournaments have a little tournament. If you guys need tips on what kind of rods or reels that you guys could start off with, show you guys. I don't, I don't buy that much expensive stuff, you know. Well, all right, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, make sure you guys hit the like button and get ready for those videos. It's tournament season. Tournament season, I tell you. Watch my other video, cabrones. No sean gachos.